Welkom bij Amsterdam Televisie op YouTube, op Facebook, op Twitter en de website amsterdamtelevisie.nl. Uit onze serie In Gesprek met een interview met Timmy Juro uit 1982. Dit is André en u kijkt naar Amsterdam TV. Naast mij, u ziet het, Timmy Juro. Enkele weken geleden zag u ook Timmy Juro. Alleen toen waren wij op weg naar Los Angeles. En toevallig had ik de toevalstreffer om toen ook Timmy Juro te mogen interviewen. Your record plays every day on the radio, in discotheques, in bars. And I think it is very important that they play it in bars and discotheques. Because there are the people coming and that people has to buy your record. So, do you have... An idea. How is your success with You Are My Special Angel, All Alone Am I, and I'm So Hurt? What is the secret of that success? I think the secret, number one, is that God just decided it was something he was going to bless me with. Number two is that if you're coming straight from the heart, Other people have to feel it. Mm -hmm. Even when I was younger, John, and I recorded Hurt 20 years ago, uh, the president of Liberty Records, when I tried to convince him that I had to sing Hurt because I was Hurt, uh, he said, well, it isn't necessary for me to release a, a, a record just because you're Hurt. And I said, but don't you see that other people in the world are hurt. They will understand what I'm saying. And your voice is coming out of your heart. Yes, and because it's true, I think that uh, the truth overcomes everything. I think that people can actually feel when someone is singing something on a record whether or not they mean it. And I know everybody knows that uh, There are certain songs I feel. I sang Hurt 
because I was hurt. I sang all alone in my for my daddy because I lost my daddy a couple of years ago. His favorite song was All Alone Am I by Brenda Lee. So I recorded it, and I love it. Um, you Are My Special Angel, I sang for my daughter, who's 11 years old. I know every mother in the world who sings it has to think of her child. I think you... Did you wrote that song yourself, You Are My Special Angel? Yeah. I didn't know if it would be a hit, but I knew that if I sang it with all of my heart, someone out there would feel the same way I did. Uh, I can't wait until you hear a song that I wrote mm -hmm. with a, a friend of mine called You. It's uh, really beautiful. I sang it at my, f my uh, concerts with Elliot, and I'm preparing now to record it. Mm -hmm. And it should be released the first week of September. Here in Holland? Yes. Yes. And it's already in America, or is it an quite new? S it, it is a single, isn't it? Yes, it'll be a single, and it'll be released uh, the first week of September, and we haven't finished with the recording of it yet. Well, which company? Because uh, I wrote an article that's about two months ago. There were two record companies who were fighting for you. So which company is uh, bringing the record? They're still fighting. <laughs> we don't know. Uh... I can't really say today, honestly and truthfully, which company it'll be with. I, I kind of think I know who it might be with, but I just, I'm not sure. How did you like your street concerts over here? You made street concerts in Rotterdam, Den Haag, and Amsterdam. Uh, did you like the concert? Uh, do you think uh, you have to do it again for quite soon? Uh, was the public very enthusiastic? What do you think about the Dutch public? They're probably the greatest people I've ever, ever been in front of in my whole life. Um, they loved me. They, uh, they were extremely responsive. Um, I was extremely happy, and I have three more concerts, October the 1st, the 2nd, and the 4th in Ostende. Ostende? Belgium. Yep. In Enschede, uh -huh. in Arnhem, and in Utrecht. Utrecht. Yeah, Utrecht. I'm, that's where I'm going. So, uh, if they were anything like the last three, which were all sold out, then I couldn't ask for anything more. It was, it was the greatest experience in my life. They're writing a lot about you, and they're writing also that maybe you are going to sing a song with our famous, popular Andre Hases. What's the truth about that? Well, I wish it was the truth. Uh, Andre and I both want to record together, but for some reason or another, his record company cannot come to terms with, uh, with the people that I'm talking about being with. Would you like to make a record with Andre Hases? Yes, yes I would. I think uh, I think the people would love it, and especially love it if I tried to sing in Dutch. Because Andre Hases is a guy who sings very sentimental songs. Uh, he he his voice is coming out of his heart also, and that's the same with you. So I think it should be nice if you together make a record, a single, or maybe an LP. I don't know, an album. Uh, I think uh, that should be a great success, especially in Holland, because you're both very popular at the moment. The, uh, the record company doesn't seem to agree with you. His record company. We read in a newspaper, the newspaper is not important, uh, that you have uh, a sect something with religion. Can you tell me something about oh, that? I sure can, John. Uh, I read that also. It was explained to me in English, and I was very sad when I read it because it was a lie. And uh, I don't know, I just, I feel like the Dutch people couldn't have possibly believed that story. Otherwise, my concerts would have been empty. My concerts were full, and the reason being that uh, the people knew that it wasn't true. They had to know. Um, anyone who knows me or hears me sing, must know that, that somewhere in their heart uh, they're buying my record because they understand me, because they understand what I'm singing, 
through a, what I'm saying, through a song. So how could anyone who expresses so much love or compassion in a song be such an evil person? I knew that the Dutch people would not believe this, but maybe the writer got uh, his story a little misconstrued. He came to my room, my hotel room, with my husband was there, and uh, a lot of my friends were there, and he sat with me and did this interview. And all I told him, John, was that when the doctors two years ago told me that I had cancer of the throat, I knew at that moment that the only thing I could do was turn to God. Uh, no one, no money, no doctor, no hospital, no nothing can help you, no John, help you. but God. And if, um, if you strengthen your faith and you go to God and you ask him in the name of his son Jesus to help you, well, how could that possibly make me the leader of a sect? All I did was turn to God when I got sick. Sometimes they say, I'd rather be health than having all that money. I think that's true. Right, right, it is true. You Money can't buy you health. And when, and when someone tells you you're sick, believe me, the first place you turn is to God. I don't care if you're... I was born a Catholic girl. I was, I'm Italian. My parents are Italian. I know God all my life. And when I met, when I knew that Jesus could help me, I went to him and I found out that my faith, a lot of people, John, when they're told that they're going to die or they have cancer or they, they have something else wrong with it, they roll up in a ball and they wait to die. Well, I, I wasn't. I went straight to God and I said, I know that you do not need me in heaven now, mm -hmm. that my child needs me and that you love me enough to help me. And he did. And I had surgery and after three weeks of surgery, the doctor said, I don't understand it, but everything is gone. I think you're going to be fine. And I said, I know I'm going to be fine. So you have to go to a doctor sometimes. But I don't think a doctor can really do much without the help of God. I can say that you are my special angel. Okay? And I think this is uh, the end of this interview. The success that I've enjoyed here in Holland is something that's been like a dream in my life. And I'm very, very grateful to them. But first, I'm a, a wife, and second, I'm a mother, and third, I'm a daughter to my mother, who lives with my husband and my, and my child and I, and fourth, I'm a singer. So, and I'm only a singer by the grace of God and because the people here have made me uh, made me a star. So how could I walk around and act like a star? There's only one in my life and he lives in heaven. Okay. I think this is the end of the interview and I will say it again, you are my special Thanks, angel. John. One moment. <laughs> Thank you. Just the lonely beating of my heart
Ah. Uh. 